Hey guys, we're back playing the Dagger of Amun Ra with Lorbo. And we're still in Wolfheimuk's office. If you just remember, we. Oh. Ha. I didn't save at a very good point, so. Just got the cheese. Uh, we discovered last time that there is a secret passageway if we push this button, but I'm not going to do that right now. Um, also, there's one more thing that you can get in Wolfheimuk's office. Oh, wow, first try. Um, if you look at this uh, bookcase, you won't find really anything of interest until you look at the very third shelf on the right. And let's see. For some reason, the spine on this book has been turned around to face the wall, hiding the title. That's on the left. D did I say... Th no, I, I meant the right side of the bookcase. Like, if you look on the left, there's nothing there. Oh, the right side of the left-hand yeah. bookcase, okay. So... This book is a collection of poetry by Lord Byron? Yes, Byron. Apparently Heimlich, Heimlich had it turned on the bookshelf so that the spine was... So that the spine with the title faced the wall. Perhaps he was embarrassed to have a poetry book on his shelf? Perhaps he should... Hello, yeah. spine! Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> the poetry book falls open to a poem, She Walks in Beauty, written by Lord Byron. The page is marked by a black garter with a note pinned to it. Ooh, kinky! He likes wearing black garters. Okay. Uh, well, let's examine this garter. Oh, hang on. A lacy black garter with the name Yvette stitched into it. There's also a note attached, of course. Oh, Heimlich uh, pretends to be a woman named Yvette. <laughs> you know... <clears throat> The note attached to the garter reads, You can have the other garter and much more if you meet me at 3 a.m. in the preservation lab. The handwriting is female. You'd hope. Wait, what? The handwriting is female? Yeah. What? What is a f what is female handwriting? Is there such a thing? There's feminine handwriting, if Are you, you want to. Yeah, it's all curly with little hearts, as <laughs> I thought. So. Yeah. yeah, little smiley faces. Vet, lol. All right, let's get out of here. Run, Laura. Okay. Let's see first if anyone's in here. I don't think there is, but okay, cool. Let's see if we can actually get in without witnessing people making it. Oh, hey. Something I can do for you, Miss Boo? Yeah, talk to me. We never get to talk. Hi, Mr. Leech. Can you let me out of the museum? I don't like it in here. People keep dying. Let's see. Sorry, Miss Boo. I seem to have lost my door keys. Oh, how convenient. Oh, I find that very disturbing. Me too. I can't even let myself out of the building. We're all seen here until I find those keys. Great. Why don't we just break a window and get out of here? I mean, that would be a lot easier, I think. Let's see. Uh, first of all, what can you tell me about the dead people here? If that fella were any more full of himself, he'd rise up and float away like a hot air balloon. Where he goes on, you'd think he discovered Atlantis. Um, he's dead. Did you get them up? Okay. I don't care. <laughs> okay. Dr. Carrington? Well, I don't see it the damn too often. We're working glass, glass folks and see the big guys too often, you know what I mean? He's dead too. Probably won't see him very much after that, yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, Ziggy, of course. <laughs> Now, that's a reason, little fella. I've heard he's a steel pigeon. That's a dangerous way to make a living. Yes. I guess it must have been Steve died too. Yeah, he probably spends a whole night here, down here, and up and doesn't, you know, get any news from upstairs. Yeah. Um. Mm -hmm. Tell me about yourself. Why, that's me, Miss Bo, we're on the leash. I thought you were probably were supposed to have good memories. Oh, snap. My name's Laura Bo. Yes. Um... Steve Dorian? Oh. Not very much about him, huh? 
Oh, he seems like a nice enough fella. I don't know him too well. Okay, that was pointless. How about, um... Dr. Miklos? Dr. Mugus is a strange bird, but she's a decent sort of thing. I see a lot of bad working late. Sometimes she invites me in for coffee. She certainly is taking the plate in my hat. She must have looked disgust at this time. Really? How come you have a plate in your head? Let me see. Mr. Leech, has 1926 been a good year for you? Yes and no, Miss Pooh. Time's a talk. At least I've got the job at the museum. That's more than a lot of folks have. Do you like your job here at the museum? Yes, I do. This sort of work doesn't really tax my brains, if you know what I mean. Gives me time to think. Think about what, Mr. Leech? Ha! Oh, you sure act like a reporter, Miss Boo. Hmm. I'm trying to get him to talk about something in particular, but I can't exactly remember how to... Wait, oh, wait, 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 I know how to get it. Okay. Uh, if we talk about Wolf Heimlich, they'll talk about what I want him to. That fella gives me the willies. He's always hanging around looking over my shoulder with those suspicious eyeballs of this. Also, to tell you the actual truth, I just haven't trusted the job in some law. That guy's a real high hand. That's a lie. <laughs> you fought in the Great War, Mr. Leech? Yes, I did, Miss Boo. I come back with a plate in my head and a chest full of marathons, and then I couldn't get it up to save my soul. I'm sorry to hear that. Don't try to bother you, Miss Boo. I'm just John. I'm doing fine now. Or are you? Hmm. Wait, this game takes place in the 20s. Yeah. World War II hadn't. Wasn't he says the Great World World War, War I mean, he's, he Hitler wasn't a Kaiser, you know. Oh, was there another war before World War II? Oh, Jesus Christ. Are you being facetious? Yes. Play the game. Okay. Play, play the game. Uh, yeah, we're gonna talk about that after the video. Met Delacroix. I'm sure you know much about her. But Miss Delacroix is a wonderful lady, Miss Boo. Elijah Buckle. Yeah, okay. Um, and how about... The Countess. W.C. Count is quite a colorful old dame, isn't she? I can't help liking her. Why? Why? She's weird. Why? She's a big English old lady. Old bitty. Oh, who's? What about Ryan O'Reilly? Well, I guess he's an okay fella, fucked up. I do wish he'd stop picking those grape stamps all over the place, though. Yeah, it must be messy for a janitor, I guess. Let's see. Uh, he's a custodian. Yeah. Same thing. No, 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 you don't call them janitors, they're custodians. Do you know my dad? Are you sure? I don't know your daddy, Miss Boo, but I'm sure he's a good fella. He is, he's a really fine fella. Yeah, really. Uh, uh... Are you sure? For sure, Foo. How about Ramsey's in this year? He's a quiet little fella. I think he does some accounting for the museum. Seems nice enough. Or so he seems. Done, uh -huh. done, done. Uh, let's see, who else did I miss? Tut Smith. Well, he's an intern, so, intern sort of town. He's all bound out of shape about his dagger business and, and he hangs around that card a lot. He looks ready to blow blood at such a me. Dog. <laughs> What are you looking at? Look at your strange eye. Uh, okay. <laughs> Don't touch me, lady. Alright, alright. I didn't seem to have any such objections to it. Uh... Yeah, jeez. Oh, wait, duh. Okay, I just said that. I think eventually he'll just kind of kick you out of the... Oh, let's see. Let's try this. I'm sorry, Miss Boo, but I'm kinda busy right now. Is there something I can help you with? If not, I've got work to do. Miss Barrow, I got a lot of problems right now. Please leave me alone. Alright. There's a lot of problems. Okay, fine. Alright, well, uh, I'm 
unfortunately we've run into a problem in which we have hit 10 minutes so i'll see you